So you ran 26 miles. Think about this, wow. six hours. 26.2. Yeah. That's a great accomplishment, Carol. Amazing. I sent you a gushing email, and you sent me back a THX. Thanks. Well, I got a thanks. Mine was written out Wait, completely. I sent you this gushing email, like, so inspirational. You're so strong. I don't know how you did it. You got through it. And you sent me back a THX. Thanks. I did? Cut his mouth off. Oh, she just got so many emails she didn't answer. It's hard to get in touch with Carol. She doesn't answer her phone a lot. It has this weird recording that says, like, the phone doesn't work. You know, it's just Carol's not a very easy person to get in touch with. I was exhausted. She didn't respond to me. What do you mean I didn't? No, I called you a man in time. You didn't respond. You didn't call me. I called you ten Did you hear that, Lou? You got a whole T-H-A-N-F. Sonia, stop talking about that now. Stop, stop, stop. Sonia, stop. Sonia didn't even come to watch Carol run the marathon. She could have come outside her door and seen Carol run by, but she didn't. So the fact that Carol actually wrote thinks was very nice. She didn't text me back. Don't and I did text you back. I did text no, you. No, you didn't. You were texting while I was running. No, it was at night. It was at 8 o'clock at night. No, it was 1.30, then 2.30, then uh, when I got home. I'm being I'm saying to her. Correcting you. Well, Carol, now I'm going to be offensive. Wow, Carol really has developed a voice, and she's really telling Bethany what she's thinking and feeling. It's a whole new Carol. I'm kind of loving this because usually I'm the only one that will contradict Bethany, and I'm always in the hot water for it. Well, we want to look at my phone, and you didn't respond to me one time. You were saying, "Are you done? Are you done?" No, that's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not.